Even by North Korea's excessive standards, the production accompanying the release of its most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile rivaled anything made in Hollywood. But that's what you do the day you unveil a 25-metre-long weapon thought to be the largest of its kind in the world, capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads, and launch it into the skies for the very first time. And with it, a pointed message from North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un. Don't forget me, I can develop deadly missiles too, and there's very little you can do about it. For no one could think the timing a coincidence. Just as the leaders of the Western world gathered in Europe to discuss Ukraine and Vladimir Putin's nuclear and chemical threats, the launch was a timely, if chilling, reminder that North Korea now has the capacity to land its own nuclear missile on the east coast of the United States at the press of a button. You have to assume that they have a nuclear weapon that will fit in those missiles, if not multiple nuclear weapons that will fit in there, and that they will be able to hit their target. And unless the West acts, we're going to see more and more of this type of behavior, is your point. We are on a slippery slope toward more proliferation. You know, Putin is proving, even if he doesn't use it, that there's a valuable commodity in having nuclear weapons and chemical weapons. The last time North Korea tested this kind of missile in 2017, the United Nations, including the US, Russia and China, jointly imposed sanctions. But with Russia now at war in Ukraine and China supporting in the wings, there won't be that unity this time round. And that's exactly what Kim Jong-un is banking on.